Hey guys, Julian Lello here and we're in Chinatown, Melbourne today and we're going to be filming a little bit of a portrait challenge. I'm here with uh, photographer and YouTuber Liam and model Lizzie and what we're going to be doing is we're going to walk, um, kind of start at the top of Chinatown and walk our way down. When we see something interesting we're going to stop and use it as a little bit of a location and Liam and I will shoot Lizzie for three minutes each. Throughout the video I'm going to throw up some of the images so that you can kind of see the different styles in the way we both shoot and then at the end we'll do a bit of a side by side comparison. So let's get into it. Let's do it. Three minutes. <laughs> For the first location we're going to use this kind of view right behind me here, this gate or shrine behind me with the lanterns and then this kind of like I like this longer view down Chinatown. So let's get started. I'll be shooting first for this one and I'll be shooting second. Liam will be shooting second. <laughs> Go. Boom. All right, done. Go. You hold that and tell me when. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Just come forward from that a little bit for me and half a step out towards the street. Yeah, perfect. That's cool. Beautiful. Beautiful and looking back to me, perfect. Let's jump down this way. See a bit of a different view. All right. I think. Even though you're not taking photos. Done, mate. 20 oh. seconds to spare. Yeah. I'm a bit tall. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Done. Your turn. Yeah. All right, sweet. First shot, I reckon if you lean over this, like here, and sort of look down. Okay. It's going to use the chain here for some depth. That's sick. Yeah, hold there. Nice. And look over that way. One minute, 20 seconds. One minute? Fuck, all right, can you see that tattoo on here? Can you hold that sort of like just below your eye? Yeah, so hold there. How'd you find the three minute timer? Dude, it goes so fast, but like, it's, it was good. It means you can't just sort of wander around and just take your time. You gotta just be focused on the photos, which I liked. So yeah, it was good. I got my th I got my three shots, so all good. <laughs> Yo guys, welcome back to, no, I'm joking. Um, this, <laughs> this location, I'm not gonna tell you why I've chosen it because it'll give it away, but I think there's some cool shots we can get here. And then Liz is wearing pink so that it contrasts because she was wearing like a sort of olive green color, which sort of blends in here. So we got the pink, which is gonna pop against this background. So three minutes, let's go. All right, next shot. There's this reflection here. If you sort of just stand just here on where I'm standing, just like there. How long do we have? Oh, wait, a minute 30 to go. All right, we're easy. Look that way. I'll direct you. So one hand sort of here, other hand like that, and you're sort of like leaning a bit more over, yeah. Seconds. Can you, yeah, sit there, that's actually great. We actually got a lot of photos there. I was surprised with that. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Liz did a good job of modeling. So like, whenever she heard the shutter, she just sort of moved to a new position, which really helped. But yeah, definitely you got- a sneak peek or? You want a sneak peek, mate? There, yeah. So we got the, that was a reflection shot. That was like the mirror shot, which didn't really work. And then, yeah, these other shots. Sweet, right. your turn. Let's start back. All right, three minutes. Let's start back down this end a little bit. It's a bit more light. Leaning it back sort of in straight into the wall. Yeah, that's it, perfect. Yeah, cool. Beautiful. All right, like that. Great, hold that for me. One more. 
cool. Let's move down a little. Yeah, beautiful. Great, yeah, perfect. That's it, done. All right, good work, thank you. How do you think you were? Yeah, that's good. This is, a, this is a sort of location I really like to shoot, particularly like street style, streetwear sort of photography. I like that nice soft light that's made pretty directional, coming in straight from the top of the, the laneway or from the end of the street. Mm -hmm. um, Colours work really great with what Liz is wearing, so I'm looking forward to these ones, right. giving them an edit. Yeah. Right. So we we're originally going to do three locations, but we've just crossed the road and looking back, this corner is really cool. You got Chinatown Archway yeah. in the background and this car park and thinking like doing a really, like it's super street sort of location. So yeah. we're going to add a fourth location in, which will be just anywhere on this street corner here before we get to the last one. I'll get you half a step this way. Perfect. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, I like this. I might get you sort of working with maybe with the pole a bit, like even like hanging out off the pole. Um, so feeding a little bit closer to it and I'll get you kind of like leaning, yeah, leaning out a bit. Cool. What have we got left? I would actually. What? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. This. Oh, I like him. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. So I probably didn't explain it well enough, but <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. I like him. So cool, cool. All right, you're up. Big color. Yeah. Alright, last location here. We originally wanted to shoot it with these roller doors down because it has a bit more of like a grungy vibe, but they're up now because the shop is open, so we're gonna have to make do with what we've got. So let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Just to clarify, am I able to use this general area from this wall to, to that the, red wall? To the red wall. Mint. All right. All right. Can I? Can you hold your bag for the first shot? You ready? Holding the props. Yeah. You ready? Um. Ready when you are. Okay. Ready. Go. All right. First location is actually inside here. <laughs> All right. This is legal. All right. Can you stand? Here, with your back against the wall. Yeah. You don't actually need to hold the bag. I just said that, so you brought it. Oh, this so, just, so just put the bag. You can put just put your bag down. This, this, this is no, this is this is the red wall. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they call it there. <laughs> Did you record that? No. Nice. Well, the, how am I going for time? That's actually probably my favourite. That's probably my favourite shot just there at the end. I like that. One of my favourites. And these ones. Our first location took up a bit more time than I expected, but all good. So Liam got me on a little bit of a technicality for this location. We said anywhere between the wall just behind, behind Liam and this red wall behind me. Liam's got me on a technicality and used the other side of the wall in the yeah. stairwell, which we just got kicked out of. So obviously I can't go back in there. Yeah. So I've got to get a little bit more creative with this one. Let's go. Three minutes. Uh, you ready? Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's great.
I might just get you straight here, actually. One minute twenty. Can you pop that foot out for me again? That was good. And keeping the legs straight though, yeah, that's it, perfect. That's really cool. Let's go up to this red wall. How long have I got? Um, shit. Uh, just lean on that, on that red for me, the peel tight. Yeah, that's cool. Great, perfect. And looking straight into me and where it is. That's it, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye bye. We did it. Oh, everyone's done. Ooh. So that's it. We just finished up the last location. Um, for those that are interested, I'm shooting on the 5D4 uh, 24 to 72.8. And, and um, I was shooting on the Sony A7R Mark IV with the 35mm from Sigma. So just filming the b-roll of Liam shooting I can already sort of tell some of the differences between our styles I think Liam yeah. uses probably a lot more depth mm -hmm. and he's probably a little bit more creative with his shots shooting through things and working some different angles I probably go from a little bit more of like a, a fashion-y streetwear sort of angle but yeah. be interesting to see uh, once we compare the final edits yeah I noticed you were a lot more just about getting the clean shot whereas I was like Okay, how can I like shoot this from like a low angle and get like the depth in it and everything like that? It was interesting, different styles. How'd you find the three minutes? Oh, it was, it was like three minutes isn't a long time at all. Like it was very fast paced, but yeah, it's good. How did you find it? It was pretty quick, yeah. 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 It was good. All right, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Sweet. Look forward Thanks to your edits. Today. Yeah. Thank all you. Right. So even before putting up the side-by-side -side comparisons of my work and Liam's, it was probably really easy to see just by watching the video, the differences in our work. Liam's images of Liz were probably much more of an Instagram driven style of portraiture. He uses a lot of depth and shoots through objects to create a really interesting framing. Whereas I go for probably more of that fashion focused streetwear style of look. And I think throughout the editing of these images, that same style shows through. Liam has gone with his kind of signature blue tones, which what he does really well, he manages to maintain a really good skin tone or skin color while having so much color manipulation in his images. This is something I see on Instagram a lot where the skin tone gets really messed up when people try to color manipulate and add too many other colors into the highlights and the shadows. Like my shooting style, which is very fashion focused, I have stuck with images that are very true to color, trying to maintain not only the skin tone, but also the garment color. Not so important when shooting images just for a video like this or just for your own personal Instagram, but if when you're shooting for a client, keeping those colors of the garments true to brand is really important. The only time I did stray away from that a little bit though was with the last location where I thought it had a really cool sort of vintage vibe and I wanted to express that by creating a film sort of look with the edit. So I did a few of them in black and white and added in a little bit of grain to achieve that. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the differences in the way Liam and I both shoot and edit. Um, if you did enjoy it, hit me with a like and help me out with a subscribe. Be sure to follow Liam and Liz both on Instagram and YouTube. I will leave the links in the description below. And as always, thank you for pressing play. Neat.